So the samurai culture has changed from one of battlefield warrior to lone swordsman. Musashi and the samurai have no war to fight in, so they roam the countryside challenging each other to duels. For many, the weapon of choice was the sword. I have the honor of learning from one of the greatest swordsmen alive today, Kiyoshi Yoshimochi. He has a direct link to the teachings of Musashi. He's so revered in Japanese society that he's always addressed as sensei, the Japanese word for teacher and a high form of respect. And in his hands, we can see just how lethal the Japanese katana can be by testing the blade against a bundle of rice straw. It's called makiwara. It may not look like much, but these bundles are soaked in water until they take on the density of a living human body, the true test of the Japanese katana. When a bushi or a warrior uh, ordered a katana from a smith, they'd want to test the blade, the cutting quality of the blade after it had been completed. And what they would do is they would test the blade on condemned or already dead prisoners. Welcome to the real world of the samurai warrior. Even with a blade as sharp as a katana, it takes incredible skill to cut through a target this dense and with no wasted movement. The swordsman must hit the target straight on to get a clean cut. I'm looking at this here, and this is cut completely cleanly through. Imagine this being tissue, uh, muscle, bone, blood, cutting right through it like a scalpel. Very serious. And believe it or not, the power comes from the hips and through the pinky finger into the sword. So as we cut, as we go into the cut, we drop our hips down. But you really sinking your, your hips into it. Put sinking your hips into it, exactly. Yeah, okay, good. Not yeah. sticking your back side. No, 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 no good, no good. <laughs> Am I getting it? You are. Here goes. This is a true honor for me, to be offered not only Master Yoshimochi's guidance, but also the use of his personal weapon is the highest form of respect for a samurai warrior. Tell Sensei I'm trying to make sure I get everything right. So, Sensei, I was very nervous about doing this, but was it an okay cut for a first time? Fantastic. Beautiful cutting. Please tell Sensei the only reason I could have done it is that I was learning from a true master. <laughs> Felt great. Very serious feeling. Um, There's a lot of things to think about, a lot of body mechanics, a lot of mental things to keep in, but the main thing is, and it's taken years years, a lifetime to be the level that Sensei is, but this is a perfect melding of mind and weapon all the way through. That was really great. I'm really lucky to get a chance to do this. Very few people ever get a chance to. Arigatou gozaimasu. Skills with the sword were becoming more important to the samurai warriors because they were entering a new phase, the phase of the ronin. <laughs> 